Hello and welcome to my channel. Please like, share, and subscribe if you like this video. And thank you all so much for watching. Thank you, thank you, thank you to my day ones, twos, and threes. Thank you to all my new subscribers that's coming in that means well. Thank you so very much. Appreciate you all and welcome, welcome, welcome. This video is for entertainment and educational purposes only. So everything is alleged, some is not. And the fair act use is in my description box, y'all. So let's get to it. Let's get to it, y'all. First, I want to say happy Sunday. I hope everybody is having a wonderful day. Please stay safe and all that good stuff. Please stay aware of your surroundings and watch the company that you keep. Because it just may save your life, y'all. So, let's get to this Javante Murphy, y'all. We got to get to this. And I must tell you, y'all, when I look at this picture of Javante Murphy, this picture reminds me of Offset. For some reason, I don't know why, but it does. Okay, y'all? Looks like Offset to me. Um, Nice looking. Nice looking chocolate young man. Okay? Javante Murphy was 32 years old. From the Los Angeles area. He was a singer, songwriter, and a rapper. Okay? Um, he often, you know, posted on social media, stuff like that, about, you know, him performing, you know, little tunes and stuff in his car. And he was also part of a band, Tank and Boo or something like that. Okay, y'all? He grew up in South L.A. with his mother, grandmother, and four brothers. Okay? Okay? And they say he often, you know, spent a lot of time running and weightlifting. So he was into his health and stuff like that, y'all. In 2017, Murphy was arrested for battery, domestic violence, and failing to appear in court. Um, he was handed 45 days in jail, three years of probation, and ordered to take domestic abuse classes. Okay. Murphy spent three more days in jail in 2018, the next year, after breaking a protective order made by the court. Okay? Now, let's fast forward to 2023. Javante goes missing July the 30th. Okay, y'all? And that was on a Sunday. He went missing. None of the family members could find him, friends, nobody, okay? A close friend named Patrick Nielsen that was 46 years old, he said he was a good kid and a good person. I don't know about that, but this is what he said. Maybe to him, okay? Because I am just want to go back to the first part because this is what they're reporting in the news, okay? He was arrested for battery. Domestic violence. So that means he was putting paws on somebody very close to him. Either his, you know, uh, a family member or a loved one, like a, you know, girlfriend or a boyfriend. Okay, y'all? Because this is the time that we're in right now. Might have been with a boyfriend. I don't know, girlfriend, boyfriend. But a mate. He was putting paws on him. Okay? Um, he went to jail, you know, 45 days for putting paws on somebody. Okay? And then he spent three more days after that, that jail time because he did not even, you know, he felt he was breaking the protective order. All right. And then he wasn't showing up to court. So he seemed reckless to me. I'm just going to say it like this. I know how everybody's been reporting him. But if you got a court date, nine times out of ten, most people that's, you know, productive out here, they're going to make it to court. Whatever court it is, traffic court, whatever, you're going to make it there. He didn't care to even show up. He didn't, you know, and you putting paws on people. So I'm just saying, y'all, I'm just saying. So I'm tired of everybody, you know, telling you one thing when another thing is the actual truth. Okay, y'all. Now, like I said, he went missing July 30th. Okay, that's Sunday, July 30th, that they know of. That's the last time that anybody knew where he, you know, actually was. Um, a beach worker 
in Malibu spotted a 55-gallon barrel floating off the shore. Okay, y'all? They paddled out to, you know, the barrel and pulled it ashore, but they didn't open it. Okay, this is what they're saying. The beach worker did not open it. The barrel slipped back into the lagoon where a um, lifeguard retrieved it at 10 a.m. on Monday, July 31st. Okay, this is what they're talking about. Um, he opened the sealed barrel and discovered Murphy's body stuffed inside, y'all. A barrel. Yes, yes, yes. A body stuffed inside a barrel in his birthday suit, y'all. Okay? Which I found odd that he didn't have any clothes on, y'all. And a lot of people were saying that it was foul play and all that stuff. Then they had a homicide cop, Hugo. He said that it was unclear how long the body had been inside the barrel, but it did not appear to be decomposed. Okay, y'all? So, they feel like it was, it was just put in there. Okay, basically, this is, this is what they're saying. Okay, y'all? This is weird. This is so weird on so many levels. When I start first started hearing about this case, I wanted to do the numbers on it. But I've been so busy back and forth. I started on it, but I didn't finish. So I'll probably still throw that video up once I finish those pictures. But yeah. Anyway, y'all. They just put out a report today. Saying that Javante was the brother of Jaquan Murphy. Javante Murphy? Jaquan Murphy. Now, let me tell you about Jaquan Murphy. Jaquan Murphy was one of the men that was arrested for the rapper Pop Smoke's murder in 2020. That's his brother. Now, word on the street is, this was retaliation, y'all. This is what they're saying. This was retaliation for Pop Smoke. Word on the street. That's his brother. And they stuffed up in a barrel. Y'all, I'm telling y'all, 20... 23 is not playing. Everybody that has done something to somebody or whatever, somebody that's in their circle is getting touched or getting outed or they themselves are. They themselves are. And I'm going to tell y'all this. I, the reason why I jumped on here so early is because, y'all, I had a dream last night and I don't have too many dreams. Seriously. Not like that. Like Pisces, they daydream. During the day, you get visions and stuff like that of stuff. You know what I'm saying? Happening or just visions, y'all. But um, I rarely dream. And when I do dream, it either is, seems like it's a message or um, I dream about somebody that's passed and, you know, having a good time. Like I dream about my father and we're at a picnic or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Like we used to go to a lot of picnics and stuff. So I dream about something like that, but it, it's kind of strange because, you know, um, like my dogs that's here right now, my dogs will be in that dream and it'll be a um, picnic that was from way before, but everybody will be enjoying themselves. So if we didn't have these dogs at the time that, you know, so it, it's kind of strange. And then we'll have the dogs <laughs> that we had back then too. So it's like I'm bringing everybody in with those dreams. So it's, it's kind of strange. Okay. So, and then I have these where you get some type of message. So I feel like I have to put it out there. And if I don't, something just keep nagging at me until I put it out. Okay, y'all. So this dream actually was about, okay. And I'm going to tell y'all this because they took out pop smoke, you know, on some bull crap. And I'm going to tell you this, stuff like this just don't go away. And for some reason, like I told y'all, this is the year of people is getting a karma. They are getting, you know, it's retaliation year. People are getting their, whatever they didn't put out in this universe and did some stuff, you know, the major ones. It's getting some serious karma this year. 
y'all okay so i'm gonna tell y'all about this dream i got i have to because this kind of circles back to what this dream is about i have to dream about these two right here y'all these two right here and i had a dream that angela simmons got taken out y'all and the weird part is that you know a little time collapsed in him her being taken out in this dream and um he moved on so fast to the next and she ended up taking um the hit for what he's done allegedly Okay, y'all, but it's a dream. I'm just saying. And I woke up after, you know, you know, just seeing that. When I woke up and I was like, oh, my goodness. If they cannot catch your guy for what he's done, she is going to be the one. Because he always talking about she's the love of his life. Okay, y'all. And I'm going to tell y'all this. Every time you see a headline, it's talking about how happy that he is. He got the love of his life and this and that. Um, somebody is about to get sacrificed. Now, I'm going to tell y'all this. When I, you know, start thinking about this stuff, you know, it. it <sighs> I'm going to try to explain it to you all how I feel. Okay. It's one or the other. Yo Gotti has an empire right now, okay? Backdoor empire as it may be, he has an empire. And do, I have to ask myself this because of the fact that Angela Simmons didn't want this guy for nothing in the world at first. She was not attracted to him, to him in no type of way. He was just at the bottom of the barrel. Just like this guy got caught in that barrel, Yo Gotti was at the bottom of the barrel in her book. She wouldn't touch him with a 10-foot pole until she got desperate. She likes to be in the spotlight. That clout chase is real in Angela's bloodstream. Okay, y'all? For some reason. And right after Dolph was taken out, Angela decided. Angela, y'all. She decided that this was somebody that she wanted to give a chance all of a sudden. Now, either she got somebody schooling her that you're going to be the queen of this empire if something happens to him. You know, just like Gucci Man and his woman, too. Is it Keisha Dior? But Keisha Dior is business, you know, savvy, which Angela is, too. But people don't like Angela like that. All of the guys that was with her beforehand, they didn't like her like that. Everybody was breaking up with her, okay? They, they hit it and quit it, okay? Everybody. And now she's with, you know, this baller. But backdoor, jealous, hateful person right now, allegedly, okay, y'all? And I'm just, I'm just here to send a message, y'all, okay? I do believe there's some karma coming their way. Either they're going to catch Yogati, and like I told y'all, her clout chase is so real that she could be getting schooled that you're going to be, you know, the queen of this empire if something happens to him. Or some, that's something that, you know, she might be thinking that, you know, later on down the line, whenever that may be, Okay. Um, she's going to be the empire to something that she might end up being the sacrifice to something. This is what I get from that dream. That she end up getting taken out. Because they wanted to hurt Yogati. Because they couldn't get to Yogati. So they got to her. And she ended up passing. And everybody online, everybody was throwing it in the Simmons' faces that you all knew what it was when she got with him in the first place. Why Why did y'all all go along with this? If they're going along with this. Because I'm wondering now, is anybody telling her? Is anybody advising her and her family? Or is they feeling like, I want to get that ball. Okay, y'all? 
You don't got to ever work again. If you pull that one. And yeah, he got people after him, but if something happens to him, look what you got. I don't know. I just see somebody telling her this. And I also see that it's all a ploy right now. Because Yogati is hiding, trying to hide behind Angela. You know, because everybody is pointing a finger at him for what happened to Dolph. And it was senseless. And this baby's face says it all. Okay, y'all? There's nothing good coming to Angela and Yogati ever. They might be on the outside looking like they're just a glowing, y'all. But there's some bad mojo mixed in there. So, do as you will. Okay? <laughs> do as you will. Because sooner or later, that karma is coming at your door. And I, I, I'm hoping and I'm praying, I have to keep putting this out there, that it does not affect Angela's baby. I hope that baby do not be around when whatever goes down, goes down. This is what I pray for. Because... People don't listen. And every story headline is posting, you know, that, oh, oh, and I heard another thing that they were considering getting married. Word on the street, y'all. So things are moving really fast with them. And they're all every they're everywhere at the White House, da 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 da. -da. But I got a feeling that, you know, because I'm gonna tell y'all this, run DMC now. I mean, people consider that their other member was a sacrifice, but not really because who really stood to gain off of that other member passing? Run DMC and them lost, so that wasn't a sacrifice for them. They lost out when they lost one of their members. So you have to ask yourself, is there a sacrifice of ruin? And when I look at this baby's face, how sad he looks, and how happy your Gotti is looking right now in his, you know, love of his life. There is something to ruin. And it just makes me feel like he's hiding behind Angela Simmons for this. Um, I don't even think he like her like that, to be honest, after he didn't got her. I don't think he likes her like that, to be honest. But I think that it's that persona and, you know, sh she's the, you know, Run DMC's daughter and blah, 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 blah. You know, he's trying to, you know, have another image right now. And I know y'all noticed the fact that he went and bought Glorilla a Maybach, you know, and all this stuff for her, for her, um, her birthday. And the first thing that came to my mind, I don't know why these things come, but these was Pisces do. But when I saw somebody send me a video of him buying, um, her that Maybach for her birthday, first thing came to my mind was TLC. Remember when TLC them was talking about that the record label was gifting them gifts and then later on, those gifts came out of their pay. There wasn't really gifts. Um, things are a brewing right now and I think things are going to get real sloppy and dirty real fast in his camp. It's going to take a, a little rise and then he's going to take a dip. Some, 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 something is a brewing right now with them. And I don't know what it is. I could just feel it coming. I could feel it coming, y'all. And it's sad that, you know, I have to be the messenger. But I can feel it coming. And I'm going to tell you this. I got, after I did that video yesterday, I had a little time to think, sit back and think about Dolph's son. And then I also had a lot of people sending me messages. A lot, y'all. It was a, a lot of people just pouring out their heart, letting me know some things about, um, how they felt about this whole situation and young Dolph's son, Trey Trey, um, record, not record, but um, clothing line and all that stuff. And I'm going to conclude this with this. What I got out of all the messages that were sent to me and having a time to just kick back and think about everything and then go over some of my, um, you know, people that, you know, follow me or whatever, and they were leaving, you know, messages okay my subscribers and people were saying that you know um trey trey he ain't even thinking about no clothing line and it hit me when somebody said that in my comment section 
that you're all right. He's not happy. He don't care about this clothing line. He don't care about nothing that his mother is trying to push him to do. Because Lord knows they don't need no money. They not hurting for no money. But I understand it. Because you want to keep your empire going. Because Dolph was that type of person. Okay. He was going to take care of home. And you know a lot of people feel like. You know um, Trey Trey is going to be just like Dolph. And have that savvy business sense. And a lot of people also feel like. Trey Trey should not be pushed to the spotlight like that. He should be somebody that's in a cut using a business whatever he has in that brain of his that he didn't you know inherit it from his daddy as far as business wise he should be in a cut with it not out in the open don't follow in that ass footsteps okay be in a cut but do your thing okay you don't need to be in the spotlight every now and then yeah we can see a picture of you, you this and that but we don't you know to see your growth but we don't need to see you regularly. We don't need to see you out here pushing your clothing line and stuff like that as far as publicly about everything. Be that smart person in the background because this is what they hated about Dolph, how smart he was, how business he was. Do your thing, but do it in a, you know, in a cut. Don't be all so out in the open because if Dolph had haters... And he has some serious haters. Like they really, somebody put the word out that makes sure this time that he's gone. That's why he got shot so many times. We don't want to see that same thing replay with Trey Trey. We don't need to see that. We need to see Trey doing his thing, using his brain. Okay, making that money business wise. But you don't got to be flashy all in the out throwing it in everybody's face okay and from what i'm seeing right now he's been pushed into this they think this is what's going to make him happy right now but this is not gonna what's going to make trey, trey trey happy right now y'all trey trey is not going to be happy for a while because he's still hurting it's just like it just happened in his face right now that his father was taken away 22 22 shots okay and I want you to think about the mockery that's going on right in everybody's face. Because Glorilla went to the awards show with a jacket on. With the number 22 on it, y'all. And I do believe she was advised to do that, y'all. I do believe she was advised to do that by her management. I do believe that. And they think it's a joke. They think it's a game. He totally disrespects Dolph, even after they done took Dolph out. The same thing that Trap Boy and them and Yellow Beezy and them and Errol Spitz and them does, allegedly, to Mo3. They disrespected him over and over and over and over again. And Yogati is doing the same thing. This is why I say there's some karma coming. And it's in a ball and it's swirling, okay? <laughs> Just like a tornado. It's coming. On Young Dolph's birthday, Yo Gotti released some music. I didn't listen to it, so I don't know even know what it's saying. But the mockery of it all. That's the problem. You want to be happy on one hand. You want to have this, you know, act like you're living the life on one hand. But you still is nitpicking. You go into the White House. You got Angela on your arm. You know, a, you know, a preacher's daughter and Run DMC's daughter. Okay, and then at the same time, you still nitpicking, nitpicking, and he called himself, you know, for some reason making Glorilla feel like he loved her so much, but it's still in the back of his mind what she said. So I want y'all to just think about all of this, okay? Because if he bought her that Maybach. Nine times out of ten, she going to pay for that. Okay? She going to do a bunch of shows and pay for that right back. So, he ain't worrying about all his money going out. And at the same time, you would think, okay, he's happy with Angela. So, he don't need to pick on Dolph anymore. He don't need to do all of this. But he's still doing it. So, he's still bringing attention to himself and making sure that he tie his name to Dolph at the same time. 
And at the same time he's doing this, he's running around pretending like, oh, he's about to get married to Angela. And da -da. There is something coming, y'all. It's coming. And I can feel it coming. And whether it be somebody close to your Gotti, family member, him or Angela, the love of his life, something is coming. When I look in this baby's eyes, and I went to bed last night. Before I went to bed, I looked at this picture again. And maybe that's why the dream came. I don't know. It's a possibility because I just did the video yesterday about this. But um, it's hard to just keep looking at his face because if you keep looking at his face, I just keep seeing, I keep having visions and I have to turn away from it. And it's weird, y'all. It's weird. But something is a ruin. 2023 has been a year of karma. And whether you did it or not, whoever you're attached to, they need to be alert as well. Anybody that people think that you love and you've done some dirt out here, it's coming back tenfold. Okay? So you got to be careful. And everybody's telling, warning Angela, but she's ignoring it. Just like her baby daddy just got taken out in a well of gunfire. She has that, it's something about Angela that she don't pick the right person. And she's a dingbat, y'all. She really is. Like, I followed the, the you know, Ron DMC and, you know, when they had their reality show and all of this stuff, I followed Angela and her sister. And more so for her sister than her, to be honest. Because I think Angela is arrogant, um... When I saw her on, you know, that little reality show that she was on as well, um, growing up hip hop or something like that, um, she thinks she's better than people. And if she thinks she's better than re better than regular people that probably went to school with her and people she hang around, and she probably the reason why I say this is because how she treat her sister, how she treated her sister on that show, she didn't really care for her that much. So if she do her own sister like that, then. <sighs> Y'all, how is she treating everybody else? It's just, she act like, I'm not for this drama. And, you know, how could you be on that show? And you act like every time somebody want, you know, some drama want to pop up, you jump in your car and leave. This is how Angela portrayed herself in the show. That she wasn't about no drama and no bull crap. And she didn't want anything added or wanted to be around it. She didn't want it in her life. She had better things to do. Find her the man of her life. And it sure wasn't your God, y'all. I'm just saying. This is how Angela acted in that show. And a person that has so much drama around his name right now, with the taking out of Dolph and the hate that he had for Dolph, okay? And now this is your man? You want to be slap dab in the middle of the drama because they got a tag a tag connected to it, a money tag, but, or is it a toe tag? Ask yourself this question, and I'm going to leave it at that, y'all, but it is what it is. This guy right here connected, he's the brother of the person that allegedly took out Pop Smoke, y'all. And it is what it is. This is why, allegedly, the police are saying that this is connected, y'all, to Pop Smoke. Word on the street, y'all. Cops are investigating the connection between Pop Smoke's demise and a person that was passed away found in a barrel on a beach in Malibu. And they're saying because Javante who washed ashore July the 31st, they learned later that he was the brother of Jaquan Murphy, one of the five people arrested in the wake of Pop Smirk's demise in 2020. Okay, y'all? Look at them twin numbers popping up. Something about some twins is popping up too, y'all. I keep thinking about twins. 
And speaking of twins, we're going to be talking about somebody's twins. Very popular artists. Twins. Y'all going to want to hear what's popping up. Okay, y'all? About some twins. And it's not good. It's some Jason, um, the, the Damien stuff that's popping up. Okay, y'all? But I'm going to get to that video too. But anyway, y'all, please enjoy your day. Please like, share, and subscribe if you like this video. And thanks for watching, y'all. Peace.